to try to use our custom pagination component uh, with real data. This tutorial is based on tutorial from Tower C Media, its famous uh, YouTube channel for developers. I will leave link in the description on original video. But of course, we will do this with our custom component. So let's begin. First of all, I want to pass props to our uh, pagination component, so pages. And we set up initial value, for example, it will be 10. So we don't need this const anymore. And when we save it, as we see, we have 10 pages now. Also, we need uh, to install Bootstrap and Axios. I already did it, but you can type here when you stop your server and then install Axios and npm install Bootstrap. And now we need to import our Bootstrap and we can also import our Axios. So if we save it, we see uh, our style has been changed now. Also, we need use state and use effect hooks so we need to import it okay and now we need to set up our state for our uh, app first of all we do like this so in this state it will uh, we will keep all our posts so this will be array with our posts next state loading is this will be our mark uh, when we fetching data and uh, when data is already fetched so for now it's false uh, also next one is current page so we start from page one and uh, in this state we set up how many posts we want per page. For example, we want 10, 20 per page or whatever. Next thing, we need to use um, use effect to fetch our data. So use effect. So second parameter will be empty array. So this function uh, will work only when component mounts. Now we need to write our function to fetch data. So const fetch post will be equal. This this will be a sync function. So first of all, um, we set our loading to true. Now we need to get our response. Await. And we will use Axios to get our data. Axios get, and we use this URL to get our data. And now we need to set our posts with this data that we got. This rest data. And we need now to set our loading to false. When inspected, and which is console first. Oh, and of course we need to run our function. So fetch posts. Oh, as we see, we have empty array, and later we have um, hundred posts 
in our array. Okay, next step, we need to write our condition. So if loading is false or post end less post length is equal there, we return some spinner or loading in our case. So we don't need this console. So for example, if we comment this one and type here and type here true we see it's loading so we can change it on spinner later whatever change it back and here it falls okay let's see okay next what we need to do is to write this code so we need to get current posts so index of last post is equal current post multiply post per page so if we run if we have page one multiply 10 it will be equal to 10 so index of first post will be 10 minus 10 will be zero so but if you change it on two this will be 20 so 20 mean minus 10 it will be 10 and this will would be like 10 my 10 to 20 slice 10 to 20 so this is how it's work and so we can change later numbers here and this will uh, this will calculate itself all numbers we need and current posts this will be posts our array of posts slice and these numbers yeah so if we are on, on page two it will slice our array from 10 to 20 from 10 to 20 and this line of code will calculate how many pages we will need all together to cover all our posts from, from, from for example in our case uh, we have 100 points di divide on 10 because post length will be 100 divide on 10 post per page and that will be equal to 10 so now we can pass this to our component so pages will be equal to how many pages Okay, we see nothing has been changed but if we want to change for example 20 posts per page so we have only five pages because five ten five times ten twenty will be hundred so now we should to create our separate post component but i think for this tutorial it will be okay to uh, do this straight away in our app component so we create another list and um, inside we map through our um, current posts so map and done and key will be our in the index of course it's not best idea to use index like a key but for tutorial it will be all right and uh, here we will uh, map to our post title And if we save it, we see we have our 10 posts. So if we change here on page two, we have different posts. So we can add some uh, bootstrap classes here to make it nicer. And add some margin for example and of course we move this begin uh, 
So we, we delete this title in pagination. And we move it to our, to our app component. Make it nice. So something like this. And uh, So this is with bootstrap styles and if we press we need to be sure that this state will be changed so how to pass props from child to parent component this way easy we can just pass this set current page to our pagination component So like this and in our pagination component we need to get it from props and um, and here we need to to get our current button and now when we press, we see everything is working. So we can change, for example, we want like five posts per page. If you see, we have 20 pages, five posts, and everything is okay now. 